Okay, uh, hello everyone. Uh, right now, I'd like to give you a very uh, quick guidance on how to do the ass assessment tool. Um, okay, let me share you see my desktop. So uh, as beginning, please make another folder under STC 2022 and name it as anything you like, like for example, assessment, uh, assignment 02. So I put my uh, assess assignment one file in here and just change the name and edit it to uh, today's contents. So here's when, what we can do in assignment two, uh, you already see it uh, from the web class. Uh, so based on the last time assignment one, uh, we already have an input earthquake file and we need to set models and to do the Numa beta method. Uh, this time we learned uh, integration by Numa beta method especially based on the incremental and displacement based methods and draw the graphs and plot them and save them on the computer. We need you have plenty of uh, functions uh, as uh, input, output, plot, and the calculation. Okay, I'm going to walk you through about uh, how, we, how we do this uh, in here. Okay, so firstly, uh, we can walk through uh, what we did last time. Uh, you, we use this code for just uh, uh, download the earthquake uh, to the local file here. Uh, uh, I will suggest you to do this in this style in this um, lecture. But later, if you need to save something to your Google Drive, you can mount your Google Drive with the, uh, use the method we learned before. But here, we, we don't do that. And only two uh thing we need are going to need in here uh let me restart this uh run file uh, so that you can see what happening here uh uh so uh only thing we need is this two library numpy and pyplot and uh, we're going to do again this is the uh assignment two uh what we did last time so I, as I show the same code as we showed last time, but I would like to add more things, pay your attention uh, because I see some problem happening last time. Uh, one is, is uh, please be careful about uh, this memo. They have a dot after this. And after frequency, we have uh, H uh, frequency here uh, based on the, the uh, data we can to rate. You can check it uh, on the uh, file. And uh, here you can see uh, we did need a frequency here, we need scale factor here, and the memo did uh, have a dot after that. So you don't make mistake here. And uh, uh, when you uh, do uh, this cyclic, please remember every time make xn equals x so that they can update uh, all the string. If you use s, please use sn equals s. Uh, if you x, use xn equals x. Uh, but uh, make sure this is a uh, correct coding and also they are in the correct location. I see some of you coding here uh, under here. So that will be only conducted when the if uh, start code, uh, start data uh, start. But if this didn't work, so they will never run this part. So at the finish, you didn't get any useful data from the code. So please do put this intent in this location same location with if. And uh, this time we uh, do a little bit uh, different uh, uh, because uh, uh, we also uh, plot them in a more particular way, uh, add them with some x limit by limit, x label by level. And then you can see the plot is look like uh, here, look uh, better uh, output. So we take Odin. 1,500 to 4,500 part, the 3,000 part to do the simulation because this is the main part of earthquake. We don't want to waste our time uh, too much uh, on the part, which is actually very, very small acceleration, uh, which uh, do very little influence to the structures. And uh, we, we save the file like this. You don't need to do it. It's an option, but if you do it, it'll get, get you some extra point. And then this is the part we do the structure model. As we mentioned that M equals one, K equals 100, and, oh, uh, and H equals 0 0.05. And uh, uh, from the dumping coefficient uh, ratio, we get the dumping coefficient, they are different. 
they remember the equation 2h omega. This part is omega, but I get omega by uh, square root of m multiple k. So uh, one thing I, I forgot to explain is that I divide 100 because uh, in here, we're going to use ISO unit to do the simulation integration. So that means I use m and as a map, uh, m as a meter, as a length displacement, and s second as time. So your uh, displacement will be meters, your speed velocity will be meter per second, and your acceleration will be meters per second square. So that uh, from uh, but what we read from the file is digital number, and then we change them to Gal by the uh, scale factor. And here we divide 100, change them to meters per second square unit. And the force we use Newton, and we use uh, mass, use uh, kilogram, uh, this kind of system. So uh, that's why we de define here. So uh, I'm here actually is one kilogram and k in here is uh, newton per meter and uh, h is a, a normalized value don't have a unit and uh, you can calculate uh, what is unit of c and I, I did something extra here to save the structure model are you going to use it uh, we'll do the mdf model but i would suggest to do it right now Okay, and uh, uh, so let's go to our uh, main part of the new numeric beta method. So in the explanation file in Mathematics lecture, I will use the x1, x1 dot, x1 two dot, x0 two dot to explain displacement, velocity, acceleration, and uh, last time acceleration. So here we use the dv, a, a, n to express, uh, use n to express the, the last step, uh, use non-marked value to express this step. And uh, the external force P1 here is uh, the external uh, uh, mass and the acceleration. And we can mark it as AG, ground motion, model uh, mass of the structure. And for the incremental method, we use delta P1 here is uh, as a, a delta AG a multiply M. And uh, so to instead of here. Uh, so oh, the, I'm going to walk you through the uh, whole program so that make you feel easier to do this. And uh, this part of the, we define some constant because you can see that this part, this part, this part, they are all uh, combined by constant. They didn't change with time. Like X and uh, X zero, uh, they are changed uh, with time, but other part, they are not changed with time. So we don't need to calculate them uh, every uh, uh, cyclic. You know, every uh, integration, we don't need to calculate them. We just consider them as constant here. So I calculate them, uh, I, uh, them part of them, D, delta T. Uh, here, uh, we use H, but in calculation, we use DT uh, because H is the integration uh, time distance. Uh, in the earthquake, we rate the DT is 0 0.01 second, and we're going to use 0 0.1 second uh, uh, delta T as the time interval of the integration. So here, instead of h, we use dt. And dt is h, dt2, h, h square. So we just calculated them before because we're going to use it many times. So I call this part uh, k heart. Uh, so k h equals k plus something, something, something. And uh, following all the equation here, you can edit this part. I call it aa. Uh, this part, you call it aa. This part, I call it av. And you can calculate. Uh, by yourself, calculate it one by one. Also, this one is uh, BVD, this is, is BVA, this is BVV, because uh, uh, mid orders is wrong, uh, but you can calculate one by one. And finally, you're going to use it uh, to do your one step of new mark beta method. And you can write a function, the new mark, one step new mark beta method. The first one is to calculate uh, this part, uh, calculate this part. Here and then to divide them with the kh you calculated before, okay, to get delta h1. And then you put delta h1 to this equation, and this equation will get delta x1 dot and delta x1 two dot, which is the velocity and the uh, acceleration incremental. Uh, so once you calculate delta a, a x1, which is the delta d incremental of the displacement. 
please don't forget to calculate the displacement. Same thing when you calculate uh, incremental of the, uh, velocity, please also calculate velocity by uh, plus uh, the last steps value uh, you do it here. Okay, I didn't show you the code. You need to do this part of code by yourself. So other is quite clear. Uh, we will prepare some zero value or empty list uh, for our saving and calculation. So initial value of ANVN, DN, AGN is zero. And we also uh, made a function to update uh, step by step because uh, to next step, this steps AN is next steps. And this steps A is next steps AN. So we're just updating the status of the variable. And then we just use all these functions. I already write the whole scale here. Uh, first, I prepare the constants. I prepare empty uh, values, initial values, and you, in each step, you get acceleration, you get their incremental, okay? Increased part of acceleration because initial is zero. So the AG is because DAG in the first, but later they are all is incremental and put them into the new one step numeric beta beta that we need to finish up here and then uh, calculate one steps acceleration and update AG here and then return uh, and uh, in, the, in, the, in the end return ABE as this result, okay? So I'm uh, uh, having, a, oh, having another code here. Uh, and uh, any, anyway, uh, when you do finish that, you can do a plot. This time uh, the plot is, uh, uh, okay. Uh, same with this one, this last one. Um, but this code allowed you to change the title of Y label. So you can uh, 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 try some label. I didn't show it here yet, but it should show X, Y label and Y label here. And you need to plot all of them, all of earthquake wave, acceleration, velocity, and D. So if you plot, look like this, look like this. So velocity, uh, acceleration is like 15 meters per second square, and uh, velocity is 1.5. Uh, then this is 0 0.15, 0 0.15, then you will get a correct answer. If not, look like this, you are something wrong here. Uh, don't forget to give them the limit of in the horizontal, it will be look better. Okay, and then uh, you need to save them. You need to save them to the file. In the first line, you need to save some information here. A second line, you should uh, uh, clean the title and then use uh, percentage uh, 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 float, uh, formatted float to record every value into the file. And check the file. It is saved there, and then you you can do run, and you can going to have a summary, summary here because before they are just uh, define the equations, and then you have a summary to run it, from beginning to end. Then you can get everything correct in the table. Okay, so that is all for your assignment two. So good luck to do all the things uh, smoothly. So if you have any trouble, you can contact me uh, to get help on your programming coding. So I will waiting for your email. Okay, thank you very much.